Hello everyone. In the last clip we saw how the subtotal function calculates a single set of totals based on whatever filter is active. In cases where we'd like to see separate individual totals for a number of customers, we use the sumifs and countifs functions, as in this example, where the results for each customer are visible based on the slicer selection. Similar to the dsum and dcount functions, some ifs and count ifs use criteria to perform their calculations. But in this case, the criteria are built into the function itself in the form of arguments. Let's take a quick look at this and see uh, how this works. So I'll just select a cell here that has a sum ifs function in it. And basically what this sum ifs function says is that it's going to sum, this is the net total here, so it's going to sum everything in the net total column the net amount, everything there, based on certain criteria. And the criteria are that it's going to check the business name column and total the net amounts based on a business name of ABC Limited in that cell. And it's also going to look at the order dates and only select order dates between the dates selected in the slicer. In this case, it's the 1st of April and the 30th of June. In this case here is the exact same function. It's the sum ifs, but in this case, it's going to sum the net amount based on the business name being DEF limited. So whatever is in this cell, greater than or equal to this cell, less than or equal to that cell, based on the slicers here. So let's take a quick peek then at the sum ifs. So this is a function that definitely benefits from being filled in from the function wizard. So here we go, the sum range, as I say, is the net amount. So we're summing this column and we're basing it on the following criteria. So we're going to look at the criteria range, which is the customer business name here. And the criteria is going to be whatever is in G4, G4 being ABC limited here. You'll notice that it's got a absolute uh, reference there on the, on the row. And that's because we want to copy this across once it's done. And then we have the second criteria range here. So we're basing it on the month. So we're looking at here on the month range here. And we want the month to be greater than or equal to the start date. Now, this is a little bit tricky here. Excel sees this as, a, what is it, a sort of a text entry. So you've got to put it in as if it was a piece of text. So it's quotes greater than or equal to quotes ampersand to join the next thing and start date. Start date is the name of this cell here, the 1st of April 2021. That is the name of that cell. That's one piece of criteria. The final criteria is the month again, and the month is to be less than or equal to the end date, and that is this cell here, the 30th of June 21. So again, remember this, it's quote, you put the less than or equal to in, close it with the quote, ampersand, and then you put in end date, because that is the name of this cell here, absolute reference. And you say okay. For the number of transactions, it's exactly the same, only instead of sum ifs, you're using count ifs. For this one, we're counting the, the column containing the business names. We're using the business name in G4 as the criteria. And then again, we're going between the start date and the end date. That's for count ifs. So that is using sum ifs. And as you see, because we put in G$4 as a mixed cell reference there, we can copy this formula from here across the way without causing any difficulty. The other thing then, just as I mentioned there, there's a conditional formatting here. 
So this conditional formatting really identifies the best performer and the worst performer in the period. So how that is set up is that we go to conditional formatting and we just manage the rules here and have a look at them. The green is based on the top 1% and the red is based on the bottom 1%. And they come from the conditional formatting, top bottom rules. And although that says top 10%, when you go in, you see the option to put in a separate one. So I just put in one there. And separately for the bottom 10%, I change that there and change the formatting here. So when I select, you can see that GHL was the top performer in that quarter. And JKL was a top performer in that quarter. And these companies here did no business with us at all in that period. That's using some ifs and count ifs to uh, get totals from tables. Have a play with that and I'll talk to you next time. So all the best. Bye for now. Thank you.